peace welcome and welcome back to my space gratitude and appreciation let's get a message from mars and piscean happy mars day mars is the energetic influence of aggression passions inspired action right drive and in pisces that's about creativity the soul experience hidden things the psyche um restriction institution if you will right let's see let's see what we're passionate about going into hiding about when it comes to our spirituality well collectively right let me see i think mars is about maybe 15 degrees all right so right now it's tuesday right yes <laughs> May 3rd, 2022, Mars is 14 degrees into Piscean. Okay, and is conjunct Arcanar. So <clears throat> when it comes to collective influences, what one is driven toward, passionate about, aggressive about when it comes to their spirituality, their soul experience, creative ventures, whatever, spirituality, um, their psyche going a bit crazy at this time. Arcanar, this fixed star influence, gives success in public office, beneficence, beneficence, benef, beneficence. Listen, me and these these syllables, like I can. I'm not gonna cut this out either. Beneficence and religion. I say this word sometimes fluently, sometimes I don't, but it means like benign, you know what I'm saying? Like no harm at least, all right? So that's nice, all right? Not easy, but anyway, let's see. What is the message from Mars and Pisces collectively? <sighs> Listen, <laughs> somebody's gonna have to let me know. I've been getting this message for months about, like, I'm telling you this Neptune, Jupiter, and Pisces energy. It really is creating, I just got like a, sh I just got a shake up, but it really is like dreams can come true season, wish fulfillment season out here with the wealth. Like it really is for the hard worker. <clears throat> this is the card <clears throat> that denotes a matriarch or something like that. A matriarch could be significant to someone. But I do feel like the path to success for this particular entity or the whatever I'm talking about for this message, it wasn't individual. It was for a family, more than one, more than a couple. I feel like it's probably family or something like some pot, somebody could have felt like a martyr or something like that. Could have been authentic, like a culture where you take care of your family or your elders or something like that. And I do feel like there's not wanting to resist that. It's just that at this time, it feels like for those <clears throat> that has done that, there's reward, recognition, and the burden from that is over too. <clears throat> my bad, my throat all of a sudden. But um, I'll be fine until I do the message. But 
before we do this, let's see. So the hard worker is going to get rewarded. Let's get three cards. You take action toward your dreams, toward your, you know, being aware of your soul experience, your creative passions, your artistic expression, whatever. You work hard for it. You you get you get what you deserve. Like eventually. So there is a decision here. I do feel like this is a decision that for someone to accept another person back into their life, a combative energy, because that energy is still emotionally connected. So, I mean, the lover's card is upright, so there is some type of choice. I don't feel like... That entity is a choice for this other party that's moving forward. I don't see they see that entity as a choice, but there is a decision to be made here. It could be to walk away. Like, say that they're still entangled with this combative thing. Their choice could be to... Because Eight of Cups in reverse is to, like, for me, it's, like, holding on emotionally. Like, if you... Like, you've done enough work to get this. Got six of cups, the temperance is sticking out. Four. This is, listen, this is saying go toward peace. I have six of cups, four swords. There's an authentic soulmate. I don't know who it is, family member, whatever. And I feel like they're linked up with somebody that they get it. They get it. Like they get that person. They get why they do things. But that's enabling this other person, first of all, to continue to do things that I mean, if this person, if this polar bear person is accepting it, then there's that. But it's just giving me, like, because the seven of swords here, there's deception. Somebody always swings a decision a particular way. They're always able to do this with someone. And somebody right now has the choice, even though that they're going to be emotional about it. No doubt about it. To say, listen, I can't do this anymore. I can't work with you anymore. Bless you. You're an authentic soulmate, whatever. But all this arguing, this back and forth, this competition, whatever this is, like, I need some peace for it. And, th and at the end of the day, this, this this is deception. Like, somebody knows that they do they do this. So, like, wh whoever, this, this person could stand up for themselves. Like, say, no, I don't want to do that. But the other person knows they can convince them to change their mind. And they do. And they do change their mind. And for whatever reason, you know, this this person that's being urged to make this decision to move on for whatever reason, they're like wanting some type of acceptance maybe or trying to overly nurture this other party that is like, I feel like being a jerk, like only wanting their way. Yeah. I just want to see, like, how is this ending? What's the advice or something like that? There's a hard-working person that, feel, like, they they could have had, like, something that they really like, wish fulfillment, whatever. I feel like, that you know, like, that would have been whatever. Should have, would have, could have. Either way, it's being highlighted right now. But in, ref but in reference to something that is not... Productive, cohesive, and it's a so it's an authentic soulmate. Like it feels like a situation, like you know, you know, if we lovers and we are, you know, co-workers in whatever way, maybe we can't be one of those anymore, but still be the other or something like that. But this might end it. This might end it.
It's an action taker there. Look, wow, the bear came out again. Like somebody's being challenged to like be a real, like stand in their authority. Take action. All right. Be a true leader. They have all the resources that they need. They put in the work that they need already. I feel like it's a most like this has to end with a coffin. And then we got the stork here, the whip, and the child. So it's, this, could, this could be a domestic situation. You know? Like, say somebody's a homemaker, you know what I'm saying? Or a housewife, house husband, however you want to put that. Like, they put in a lot of work and they think, oh, well, I just got this. Where am I going to go? Whatever. But it's up here for somebody to take action, put it in. Because there's new life here. And I feel like maybe it is, the, you know, threats on a child or something concerning a child as to why this quote unquote can't happen or whatever. But it's here as a decision to be made. I really do feel like somebody, they don't want to do it. They don't want to leave this partner. Like, I still love them or I get it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, it's like, not that the love would be different. It's like, they they want a certain type of love or emotional affection or some type of desire that they want from this person that they ain't getting and ain't going to get from this person. All right, so if you have, so 1144, um, Mars in Aries, if you have Mars in Aries, The eclipse could be significant. This next full moon is supposed to be an eclipse or some kind of whatever, right? Got the sun in the reverse and the moon. So there's a real, somebody feeling real like in the dark, silent. I feel like unseen, unheard. I feel like it, it is this person that is challenged to make this decision. Like, I just don't know. It kind of feels like maybe even an avoidance, avoidance of making a decision like, damn it, man. Yeah, temperance, man. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. There could be another partner. We got two polar bears here with a choice. Be aware. Hanging on to something. And I get it. It's like, yo, if they could just, but there's something else here. I know I know this may seem like, oh no, it's it's them, it's them. It's the one that I'm with. No, I'm not feeling that. I don't feel like it's the one that you're currently physically acquainted with. That's the ace of wands in reverse. I don't know. Uh, nah, man. No, 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 no. The couple here is, is separated. There's another fiery, more spiritually aligned connection here. And, 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 and that one accepts the challenge, temperance reverse. Like they, you know, they are patient. They do balance themselves out with, you know, have some type of spiritual practices or been through some things. But I kind of feel like somebody is purposely <clears throat> not seeing something like hiding it, turning their head because this connection is so freaking strong and they really want it to work and it's an authentic partnership but i'm saying what i get it is what it is whatever all right mars and taurus mars and taurian I feel like somebody like this is giving me like somebody get like pushing kicking like somebody's kicking and screaming as somebody's pulling them out the door like you gotta go it's like no I don't wanna go I feel like this is this is like a forced separation or something like that queen of cups reverse two of wands reverse like I don't wanna go that way but they are 
Okay, Four of Cups, Sun card reverse again. You know what I'm saying? Even if this person, you know, leaves kind of solemnly, you know, if they're not in that, you know, not that dramatic with it. Again, man, because this is showing up as somebody that, yo, we, you are my person, you are my partner, but with the emperor reverse and now the king of pentacles reverse too, like, yeah, like, they're, they just, it's like, a, this is giving like a situation where somebody, they know that somebody is just like, they kiss they ass and they just take advantage of them to the point where it's just sad and somebody gotta go. Like, this is gonna go down. All right. Mars and Gemini. I do want to say, be aware, somebody may be coming back around to fight. I'm telling you, this, this Gemini season is going to be crazy. This retrograde, possibly, because it really, like, this is giving somebody that shows up and is like, listen, it could be that too. Like, I changed my ways. We, we match now. I never let this go. It could be that too. I'm not, I'm not frightened. Like, it's crazy. But Death card reverse, Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is talking about not changing because of money situation. Like somebody's stuck because of finances, because of money, taking care of themselves. World card. It feels like somebody, like this, this situation is happening because one party here, they have all the qualities to move forward, ascend. Be celebrated, have a lot more fun, a, more, a stronger spiritual foundation to work with or whatever. They have to go because somebody else, their energy, their, the way they process emotions or treat emotions or something like that. They, I feel like they have to see by themselves, maybe a couple of people are leaving this entity or whatever, that they are broke. And what it really means to generate currency and what current like what currency is, what money is, what prosperity is, what abundance is. I feel like somebody gets that through their workmanship, they, they, what they do, and they're linked up with something that absolutely does not, no respect. They, they could have so much more if they wasn't with this entity. And now it's time to get their fair share. That's what I feel like. Um, Mars and Cancer. Star card, five of wands in reverse. So I feel like for Mars and Cancer, it's like, I, like you know what? I'm good. Like, I'm a shine. I'm going to shine, literally. Like, I'm not fighting this. I'm not really fighting anything, I feel like, for Cancer. And, like, I'm not going to fight. If anything, I want to, you know, work on my career. Do what I got to do. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Be aware Mars and Cancer may already be linked up with something or that's what they're focused on. They're stuck in their ways when it comes to like, this is giving like, I, I know, like if it doesn't have this, if they ain't spiritual, if they, if it's not along my path, if it's not going to ascend and I'll, I'll stay stuck here, I'll do this on my own. Like I know I'm shining. I'm not fighting shit. Something like that. Mars and Leo. Mars and Leo. Mm. 
Yeah, this is manipulation. This is the vibe that I was getting before. A Knight of Cups reverse, Magician in reverse. Like somebody, they know exactly what to say, what tools to use. Usually it's emotions, you know what I'm saying? Tell you you look good or possibly even berate you, like attack you, like to make you feel emotionally down or something like that just to get their way. Dang, Knight of Swords reverse. Dang, King of Wands reverse. I feel like this person don't want to see that they're, I don't know, they're miserable. Seven of Cups reverse, three of Cups reverse. They can feel like they have no emotional support, so that's how they want other people to feel too. But there's like a berating, belittling, cynical, just mean person. King of Cups reverse, King. I don't know. This could be a couple doing this. There could be a couple that's just like together and just being mean to another group here. Another group. It could be two groups. And one of them is very jealous. And I feel like of the status of the other group. They could have been friends, but then they separated. Mm -hmm. All right, Mars in Virgo. What do we have for Mars in Virgo? So I do feel some, this person could be the, I, I kind of feel like it's mostly this person that is being challenged to leave, okay? They are not communicating. And I feel like because it's, I, I, it gives me a vibe like, okay, like they keep getting hurt and they don't mention that they got hurt because the time has passed now. And it's like, Oh, that happened last week, or that happened so long ago, or that happened already, or I shouldn't be hurt, like, or something like that. Somebody's not talking about where they are emotionally, which is still kind of scarred. Ooh, devil card with a hangman reverse. I feel like they don't, the reason why they don't say it is because they know whoever they say it to, they do not care. The hangman reverse with the devil card, they only see things the way they gonna see it. And if it's not painting them in a good light or catering to some desire or something like that, they ain't gonna wanna hear it. So, and again, with the Six of Cups upright, like this is an authentic soulmate. I don't know, but it's not, this person is not a friend. I don't know, they're not a friend. They're not friendly. They don't have friends. I don't know. Mars in Libra. Yeah, it's giving me the same vibes as like, uh, what was it, Cancer? Page of Cups, Five of Wands in reverse. Like, like I'm not talking to anything that's going to, or this person could not be, the reason why they're not speaking up is because they don't want to start a fight. I do feel like conversation is going to happen though. They're picking the right words or holding back Ace, um, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Reverse, Strength card, Reverse. I do feel like somebody's working on. Could be the right time. I don't know, man. Is somebody trying to come back? I don't know, um, Mars and Libra. There's like a vibe here of, it's separate. I feel like this is separate already, but what is going on out here? I have no idea what's going on out here. Ace of Swords, Reverse, Strength card. 
somebody could be holding back from accepting another offer too. They may like being alone. Mars and Libra. It feels very hermit card-ish almost. Like they're not a really, they're just kind of holding back, not doing much. <laughs> Whatever that's it for. I don't know, child. Mars and Scorpio. I almost don't want to put this out. I feel like, what is going on out here? What am I even talking about? Mars and Scorpio? What am I even talking about? I'm going to do it, though. I'm going to do it, though. I'm going to put it out. Mars and Scorpio. So somebody is only there because of the money. Okay. King of Cups reverse, Page of Wands reverse. Like that's like I'm not this this person's literally not there physically or energetically. Like I don't see you in my future. But there's money here, Ten of Pentacles. Like we have a business together, but living together is no. <clears throat> somebody may be hiding that they're taking their shit from one situation from another like they're leaving one house and taking their assets to another one be aware king of cups reverse page of wands reverse this feels very sneaky like somebody they ending something okay maybe it's not sneaky i don't know but Maybe it's not sneaky, but for one thing's for sure, there is no love in one connection. It is over. No more celebration. But there's a there, there's something real new, and they offering it to someone at a distance, and they're hiding it. Like this is a secret or something like that. It is. All right. So be aware. Mars and Sagittarius. I'm like, yo, who are all these people? King of Pentacles on the bottom, King of Swords reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of King of Cups. I do feel like there's somebody working here, minding their own business, doing what they do. And there are three potential people here that you know, one's not saying anything, could be manipulative, mean, whatever, but this could be all in one or whatever, but there's an emotional, I mean, like there's a secure, emotionally secure, kind, like there's a long-term something here. I feel like somebody made, this might be all with one person. I'm listening, I'm saying what the hell I get, man. I don't know what's going on out here. I'm saying what I get. I feel like somebody's minding their business and these are all, this is energy is on all in one person. Queen of Wands in reverse, somebody's jealous, okay? Spiteful, like they're jealous of this person. I feel like they minded their own business. I feel like they do want longevity with this person. I feel like they do have a deep emotional feelings for this person, but they're not saying it. Probably even talking mad junk about them. Yeah, this person is working on more options. Hermit cards, seven of cups, three of cups. Yeah. So somebody's working on expanding their, you know, options for creating their life. And there's another person here. Again, it could be split into four different energies or whatever. But the gist of it is, is like they're not talking to this person. And again, they could be talking mad shit about them. But really, they want... 
they love them and want to be with you know some kind of connection long term but they also jealous <laughs> Mars and Capricorn I feel so out of loop. I I'm not gonna I cannot find I cannot find <laughs> I feel so out of the loop. So disconnected from humanity. What are these messages? Mars and Capricorn. Five of Swords again. So if there is money on the line, somebody's, you know, they going after it straight like that could be two people fighting over money and that's why this emotional connection is here it could be two hard workers splitting up shit or one that worked double hard and trying to fight for something that you no know, fight for this stuff that this other person doesn't deserve yeah like something ain't working anymore three of pentacles reverse queen of wands king of pentacles Again, with the Six of Cups upright, what is going on? It just really feels like people that really try to make this work to like to the point of, to their detriment. Like they like this is like the loyal soul companion, like, but it's to their detriment now and they gotta go. All right, and in this case, I do feel it's about money. I do feel like somebody was very lazy. Um, somebody that presented like they take care of responsibilities or they are in it for longevity or whatever the situation is, but they're not, could not know how to talk about people. But there's another person here, very passionate, vivacious, pe more of a people person. I feel like that they're, they're fighting for like, listen, or well, however this goes, it's about money, this situation, but there's a separation. All right, Mars and Aquarius. Nine of Swords, Two of Cups. So, yeah. So, whoever it is, probably both sides, to be honest. There's a, a lot of anxiety about a separation, a breakup. And I feel like this is so hard because, you know, it's like one of those situations, like, I really don't understand why we are not, like, being together right now. Like, I get why we're not, but this is, like, crazy. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Six of Cups, like... Again, somebody feeling like, yo, I'm just not satisfied here. It does have to do with finances, support, generosity, something like that. And this other party, I feel like, yo, it's just these like, yo, these are, it's a situation like, yo, I, this is just too rigid. I cannot, you only want to do what you want to do your way. You're a total blockage. I can't have it. Like I can't, I cannot work with this. Tower reverse with the King of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. Like, you literally, like, I know you're not going to change. You're not going to get any better. You want what you want. You're insatiable. Something like that, all right? And final words from, um, from Mars and Pisces about the situation. What's up, Mars and Pisces? Whatever this is, this community, this friendship circle, somebody has to stand in their own authority and move forward and cut this out because some this other party is not investing. There's a manipulative person here. They use intelligence. They use emotions, what you would call a freaking narcissist. 
okay and this is a, this is a pretty narky person energy whatever okay page of pentacles in reverse this is not going to produce and someone just that ha has to you know know that they have the um the strength even though they're tired and wounded and energy is low and possibly tired of fighting and having to make these decisions all the time and again still emotionally connected in whatever way but they gotta move forward man if they want that um what they really want yeah this one ain't easy mm -hmm. all right well that's what i have at this time i appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Peace.